<laughs> I'm so happy with my fridge. I can finally make salads, I can keep my food, I can store my food, and the fridge is working 24 7 hours, powered by the sun. Um, this is how I made it. No! Ah, this is a wonderful device. It's also the most expensive device in my van. The reason it's so madly expensive is because it takes 12 volts and it's able to freeze until minus 10 degrees. That technology has its price. But there are different options. When it comes to choosing a fridge, um, I think you have three options. Probably there are many more options if you are creative, but these are the three legitimate options I know. First one, the compressor fridge. This is the one I have, this is the one I chose, and here is why. It always cools down, mine does, uh, to minus 10 degrees. Doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter how warm the environment is, it always cools down to minus 10 degrees, which is a really nice thing. I think. It's really, really efficient. Mine takes half an, amp an hour, which is totally doable. Now I have the electrical system in place. So yeah, many, many, many things to like about the compressor fridge. There's only this one main downside. It's expensive. I paid 370 euros for mine, which makes it the most, yeah, the most expensive item in my van. It's mad. By the way, another downside is it does make sound. I don't really care, like every half an hour it turns on and it does a minute. I sleep through it, doesn't wake me up. I can sleep with it. I don't really care. But I can imagine if you mount it under the bed, it can be quite annoying. So, yeah. But there are also cheaper options. For example, the thermoelectric cool box. This one is silent, which is a nice thing. The thing with this one and the gas fridge is that they are dependent on the ambient temperature. You see, the gas fridge and the thermoelectric cool box are kind of the same, use different fuels. But then, the gas fridge, at least most of them, are a combination of them both. So you can use 12 volt to 20 volts and gas. Choose whatever you think is best. There you have it. I wanted it here, so I can like pull it out, open the whole thing, but no, it doesn't fit. So here's what I did. I attached these two pieces of wood under the fridge in order to slide it in and slide it out and slide it in and slide it out. It was a bit tricky to get the wires in place because obviously it moves all the time. So here's what I did. I attached the wires to the wood. The positive wire makes its way down all the way to the battery and the negative cable I just attached to the van. <laughs> So here's another special moment for me. I just got this out of the fridge and it's freezing cold. Cooled by the sun. In my van. Doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter what I do. I got cold beer. It's magic. I know I look like shit. It's all, it's all been worth it, I mean. So... That brings me to the end of this video. Tomorrow is a big day because hopefully, hopefully, the Apica thing, which is in the other video, is done. Uh, and I'm off to my way to Greece. Can't wait, love to go, but this isn't bad either. Hey, I mean, look at this.